right, what's up traders? My name is Robert Falco from Real Life Trading. This is a highly requested video on how to take partials on the Think or Swim platform. And here's the two ways that I do it. So obviously I'm starting flat. There is, uh, you know, no positions here. I'm just gonna go ahead, well, let's do it this way. Let me go in, I'll trigger with bracket and I'll just do a dollar stop. So let's make this $2 just so that Nothing funky happens and it gets hit. Uh, and I'll just mark it into uh, a couple of positions here. So boom, I'm in three shares of SPY. So let's say that it's going higher and it's trading up here and I wanna take a partial. Here's the first and probably the easiest way to take the partial is you just change this quantity to one. And you can tell I already have my OCO. So this is my stop and this is my limit. I'm just gonna change this quantity to one. I'm gonna come in here and click sell market. I'm gonna send it. It's going to cancel my OCO bracket, but it sells that, uh, that one share. Now I have two left. So I can come back in and I can, uh, I can set my sell stop all the way down here. And uh, I always put my stop in first, just in case something crazy happens. So I have that in there and then I'm gonna come all the way up here and hit my limit sell. And uh, those orders should be linked. Let's make sure that they're actually linked here. Uh, working orders. Now they're not linking them. Why is it not linking them? Oh, I have one and one. My bad, two, here you go. I have two left. Thank you, Thomas. So that's uh, the incorrect way to do it. Here's the right way. See how it says link orders. They will be linked in an OCO bracket. Yes, I want them linked. And then boom, you have your, uh, you have your new position open. So you just do that by clicking over here on the depth of market on Active Trader. So the other way to do it is you come in here. This is thanks to, uh, to Thomas Wong. You cancel and replace. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna change this to first triggers OCO. And then I'm going to duplicate, not once, but twice. So my partial is going to be for, um, one share and then i'll have one left and then i'll have uh, one left on the stop so let's say i want 340.60 and then i still want my other target all the way up here at 330 or 344.31 and now i need to make sure that one of these is a stop so there's my stop let's say my stop is just 338 so let's double check so i'm replacing this one order so if we come up and we we're gonna replace this order with my limit cell, so my partial. My partial is gonna be for one share at 340.60. That'll leave me with one net share left, because I have two uh, at 344.31. And then I have my stop, which will be at 338. I'll hit confirm and send, and I will send that. And now I have this. So right now, the only live order is this, my I'm net two shares. So I have a two share stop here and then this order is live. So let's say I drag this order down. That order now gets filled. So notice how my two share stop is canceled and now I'm left with one share limit cell and a one share stop. So that is one way that you can uh, take partials on think or swim. So we'll go ahead and just sell all these at market. Uh, we'll just flatten the position. And there you go. If you have any questions, um, comment down below on YouTube. We all, we'll link to another video as well that Thomas had done, probably explained it better than me, but I also wanted one to be able to send to people and that's how you do it. So comment down below, shoot us an email, check us out at reallifetrading.com. Thank you and make it a great day.